What's going on YouTube? So, my Weber Master Touch Premium just came in. Let's check this thing out. So our neighbor's cat got out and uh, we tried to get it back in and the cat was completely not having it. It looks a lot worse than it actually is. I'm completely fine. We're good to go. So that out of the way, now you guys know what happened. Let's talk about the Weber Master Touch Premium. for quite a long time ever since it had been announced to the European market Weber just released it to the American market and as soon as I saw it I, I had to pick it up I, I placed the order and it just arrived this is a really cool grill I don't know why Weber does this I think they test out their grills first in the European market or overseas and then they bring it into the US uh, I think this is a fantastic grill and that's what I want to review today I have the Weber traditional kettle grill. I think it's officially called the traditional kettle premium grill and it's great. It has a copper finish. I love that thing. I ended up getting some accessories to make it a little bit better like the charcoal baskets. But this grill was different. I felt like it was a, a, a big upgrade compared to the old grill that I had and it was loaded with features. And what really, really got me was obviously the new hinged lid design that everyone's talking about, which has its pros and cons. It's just better quality than the previous grill. For example, you get heavy duty steel, I think they're stainless steel grill grades and they still have the hinged design on uh, both both of the edges so you can add more fuel if you need to but it also comes with the removable center ring you have now that option to buy all of the Weber center attachments that you can get for these grills it also has much better wheels they're like rubberized eight inch wheels I believe it's a lot easier to move this grill around the new p-shaped design although my old one had the p-shaped design for the vents as well most importantly it came with the diffuser plate and the ring so now I can smoke my meat at a nice low and slow temperature that's pretty consistent and I was actually surprised by this grill because the low and slow temperatures were pretty consistent. I followed Weber's instructions and I, I added around 50 to 60 uh, charcoal pieces initially and then I added my hickory wood uh, three hickory wood pieces that I wanted to, to do the smoke. So it ended up working out really, really well. To be honest with you guys, my dream grill is the Weber Summit Kamado grill, but that thing's super expensive. It's like $2,000. I can't quite afford that right now. I can't quite justify that right now, but that is gonna be my next grill. So the Master Touch Premium for me was like a natural step forward. Uh, it was definitely an upgrade from the Kettle traditional premium that I had, the copper one. With the features that you're getting with the Master Touch Premium though, with the diffuser plate, the smoke ring, the charcoal baskets, the better grate, um, the better build quality, it's definitely, definitely justifying the price. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Weber Traditional is a great grill, don't get me wrong. That's a $150, $165 grill, depending on where you get it from. I think I got it for about $150 off of Amazon Prime. The Weber Master Touch Premium, however, with taxes and everything, it was 350 bucks. So double the price of the traditional model. You know, if you're on a budget, get the traditional. Definitely get the traditional premium, but uh, don't get the, the super cheap one. I think I think the, the traditional premium is, is the standard right there. I think that's where you should go. If you can, get the Master Touch Premium. 
you won't regret it. So this grill, I know a lot of people are having a lot of issues with the hinge and, and getting it assembled together. I'm not gonna do an un unboxing or an assembly video. I think there's a lot of good videos out there, but myself personally, I didn't have any issues assembling the lid. It actually fit perfect right out of the right out of the box for me. I didn't have to do any adjustments to the to the springs or or do anything funky. I just kind of loosened up the bolts, got it in place, and then when I liked the position how it looked, I kept the I kept my hand on there and tightened up the bolts. There's actually two issues with the lid. The first issue being that a lot of people couldn't get it to shut. I mean, it would it would always like you know not not shut completely and kind of like kick back on them. I didn't have that issue. Maybe Weber fixed the design or maybe they changed the springs. And the other issue that people are having is they're not getting a good seal around the lid and a lot of smoke is escaping. I'm actually having that issue. I think it's because it's a brand new grill and it needs some time to build up that smoke, that residue, that grease around the rim to get that proper seal. I remember with the traditional copper model that I had, I had that issue initially and it only got better the more that I used it. So I'm hoping that's that's going to be the issue with this one. If not, then I'll probably just get a insulated seal or gasket that I can put around the, the, the rim of the lid. So I went a little crazy and I decided to really test out this barbecue and I got a bunch of beef ribs and I got two tri-tips and decided to smoke the ribs for about five and a half hours and then smoked the tri-tip for about another hour or an hour and a half until the internal temperatures got to 130. Actually ran out of time because it was getting really dark. I ended up searing it with my uh, flamethrower. So that being said, let's check out how the cook went. Let's start the B-roll. That's it guys, the cook came out really well. I'm really happy with this grill. Man, I wish you guys could have tasted that food. It was so tasty. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the alert notification so you guys get notified on my next video. Hit the like button, leave a comment. I love reading your guys' comments. Any questions you guys have, any way I can help you guys in your next purchase, I'm happy to do so. Have a happy and safe holiday season. Happy New Year. Let's hit the ground running in the year 2021. See you guys on the next one.